Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with American Salon Magazine, my favorite beauty industry magazine. Is it yours? Me too. I have got Love Sally, American Salon. <laughs> Sally Rogerson. Uh, American Salon set up this interview, so I'm really excited to go through just everything that you've done, yeah. um, what you're doing here, yeah. uh, and what you have going on career-wise and all of that. So let's start off with the fact that... Um, I know that your your main focus is education. Yeah, absolutely. So let's yeah. talk about IBS because uh, I think it's important for people to know when they go to hair shows what they're looking for and what you're providing yeah. in that. Well, I mean, I think uh, it's a really amazing opportunity for us to come here. We were asked uh, by the New York IBS show to come. Um, and, you know, American Salon really support. It doesn't help us with that. So that was a really big thing. And uh, I'd never really thought about doing trade shows, to be totally honest with you. Right. Because I just didn't think it was something that I could do, you know. Um, it takes a lot of money to put on these shows and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. So when they approached us, I was, like, so thrilled. And I thought, let's go for it. <laughs> it's a good opportunity for us. We're mainly based on the West Coast. Okay. So to get some East Coast presence and to meet everyone was, like, a really big thing. Uh, so um, we have been here doing uh, a masterclass. We had a masterclass yesterday. Uh, all my educators are here with me. So okay. I got Tell them me all what, on what stage. does masterclass mean? Yeah, so masterclass for us yesterday was a two-hour, a very intimate classroom. Uh, we cut hair on stage. Uh, okay. We also had amazing presentation models that we'd done prior. Uh, we, went, we worked through like about 30 minutes of each of our programs. So we did our women's comprehensive cutting program first. We did three models for that. Uh, we then did a men's presentation and a men's cutting program okay. with my educators. And then we also did um, a creative class. So that was all like a look and learn. People sat watching us present. Um, but it was very intimate. So we still got to be able to look at people in the eyeballs. Right, right? yeah, exactly. Uh, from that, and that was just amazing. From that, we then went through into the main stage about half an hour later, which is a very different experience. Right. There must have been like, you know, I had a good four or five hundred people there. You can't see anyone, oh, you right. know, yeah, like yeah. in the eyes. Fifteen minutes, uh, we showed all of our presentation models, so that was like super fun. I went out there and did a little bit of hair cutting, but that was really just to try and meet people and, and show our brand and what an amazing opportunity to be able to do that for us. Awesome. You know? So yeah. let's talk about your brand. You, um, I, I know that this has been a big discussion uh, in this hair show. I know last year as well, men. Yes. So why did you, have you been into cutting men's hair for a long time? Did you hit the trend on that? Mm -hmm. And, and how, um, how is your training program different from some of the other ones? Well, I think men's hair is like huge, isn't it, at it's the moment? Huge, yeah. And it's also all over the place. Yeah. You know, like you've got with any kind of fashion in anything, I think that you've got the high, you know, the top of the spectrum, the lower end and the majority in the middle. You know, you'll have some people wanting to do the newest thing before anybody else. Right. And I'm so cool, you know. Yeah. And so they started barbering their hair off a long time ago. Um. They then moved on and started growing their hair, but now that middle population, that 70% of your clients um, then went in, had all their hair barbered off, and then you've still got that smaller group that are just getting into it now. Right, yeah. Um, so a lot of people now are actually growing their hair out now. I know. So I know, it's yeah. like, what are you going to do now? Right, you know? yeah. So for um, the SR Education Men's Cutting Program, we really wanted to do everything. Okay. So we do men's longer hair, medium length, and short hair. The long hair is not like man bobs or anything like that. You know, it's like, you know, you can cut it in your fingers. Right. Um, I find when people come to class, they struggle with one extreme or the other. They're either so scared of a clipper or they're really scared of long hair. Um, so men's long hair can go girly super fast. Right. So that's difficult. So we talk about shapes and we talk about um, bone structure and we talk about how to build something to be suitable. Okay. Um, you know, and all about strength in men's hair and not making it too feminine. Right. The middle lens, we talk about scissor over comb, also how to graduate through your fingers because a lot of people just pick up a machine. Right. You know, you've got to be able to do it through your fingers as well. 
Um, can you, can you talk to pump? people real quick? Yep. What is your thought process on the difference between using the machine and using your fingers? Well, I think you should be able to do everything. Right. I do too. I would feel more confident in the salon if I can do everything. I think it keeps you fresh and excited because if you do it the same way every time, you get a bit bored, don't you? Yeah, right. So some clients, I'm going to want to use a clipper. Some clients, I'm going to want to do it all with a barbering comb to get the same effect. Some clients, you know, I don't know, I want to use my feet, whatever. <laughs> right, yeah. So I think it's all good, and I think everyone should know how to do everything. Okay. And then it's really up to you. Obviously, there's some hair textures and densities that just do better with certain things versus right, yeah. another. But um, I suggest to all of the salons that I work with that everyone should know how to do everything. Okay. Um, just to make them stronger. You'll always have a passion. Like some people will just love scissor over carmine. Yeah. And some people will just love clipper work. Right. But I want to know how to do everything. Yeah. Because so you I need to like understand you hair. Yeah. Right. So you let's need talk to about. Understand everything. If you were to say your. So you've built a great name for education, for Thank your. You. For your self your your own brand We're very new still team yeah. right so yeah. tell me how big is your team mm -hmm. that you have uh well my team i have about nine educators right now i've just taken two more on okay. uh all of my team are super uh dedicated um and just I, it's to me it's all about people's attitude and vibe yeah um in our classroom the most important person is the student like right. hands down all of my educators are there to support them, to help them. It's not about them. It's about the person that's come in and paid money and wants to learn. And right. we just want to look after them, make sure they have a great experience. How long ago did you start your company? Um, I left uh, the Sassoon organization about four years ago. Okay. Um, you know, I had, uh, I had a baby. I had my son, Henry. Um, Congratulations. Just, thank you. Um, you know, I just realized I couldn't do the job that I did before. I was the senior creative director in the academy in Santa Monica, and I needed more flexibility. So nothing against the students. It was a big part of my life. Right. But it was time to move on. Yeah. And I'd always dreamed about doing a program that was for hairdressers in salons that were doing eight, ten clients a day, working five, six days a week, right? Right, yeah. It's got to fit into the appointment time. Yeah. You've got to cut hair fast with some direction and some thought and get on with it, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'd always been like writing this program, you know, on a rainy Wednesday afternoon in your mind, right? Right. And uh, I just thought I'm going to just try and do it. Okay. Whatever happens, happens. I'm just going to go for it. We did a Kickstarter. Um, you ever done a Kickstarter? You know what? You did do a Kickstarter. I yeah. saw that. If you want to give that... yourself like a heart attack, do a Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So tell me, why was it a heart attack? Wait. Oh, my God. Because if you don't get up to what you're asked for, you don't get any of it. Yeah. So you're up at like three in the morning checking. You yeah. Know? It's like, woo. So um, and you it was hit a good the kick experience. So you hit the Kickstarter. You hit mm -hmm. the amount. Mm -hmm. um, and then that funded your That funded creation. the DVDs. And then yeah. each person that helped fund that, what happened? Did they get a uh, DVD Various from different things. Some people uh, put money in and they got the first DVD that came hot off the press. They all got credits um, in the, on the DVD at the end cool. and in the book and in the manual. Uh, some people are executive producers. So they came and we got them a director's chair <laughs> and the name on the back. That's fun. Um, and they're kind of honorary SR education, you know, members. Okay. They are allowed to come to class whenever they want to hang out with us, do whatever. So they gave you guys a lot more money. Than well, yeah, like five, <laughs> five grand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, and some people bought a T-shirt. Cool. Whatever they yeah, could afford. Great. It was amazing. We also got some uh, YS Park SR education combs made in okay. our color. So they uh, could buy that, which was an exclusive one as well. Okay. Um, so there's lots of different things. Um, we got the DVD made. It was like, like I don't know. Well, my husband's a producer. Okay. He produces music videos and commercials and everything. So we ended up making a, you know, $350,000 thing right. for like $100. That's 100, so... 100,000. I was like, wow, that's great. <laughs> I don't think you needed a um, Kickstarter, but that's yeah, great. Okay. but it was... Yeah, I could never have done it if I didn't have that situation. That's awesome. You know That's what the I mean? great thing about yeah. 
We like pulled people, in every favor we could. Right. People get every so day. down on the internet and the social and all that, but man, like you, you want to create a company. It's so much, yeah. you know, you have so many opportunities yeah. now and it's really cool. Yeah. So, uh, so you let, so you, you were not at Sassoon. Mm -hmm. So my big thing would be you've, you've moved on, you built your brand. What did you do different now uh, with what makes your education different? Yeah. Then anybody, not even Sassoon, but just yeah, then anyone, anybody. Yeah. Uh, the biggest thing for me is to simplify your technique. Yeah. And that's what I really teach people. People recut things three, four times in the salon. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We need to cut it once correctly. Yeah. And if you have the knowledge and understand what you should be doing to get that end result, you can be efficient. Yeah. Um, I also tried to simplify um, what I was teaching people. Because they were doing techniques, but they were doing it the long way. And I really feel like, and I don't know if it's just competition with all of the big companies, but we've got to the point where people think it's only good if it's been really hard to learn. Right, right. I like know. If it's really difficult, it must be thing. really good. Right. And that's a load of rubbish. Like, yeah. It's like, it's hard to simplify yourself. Yeah. It's hard to clean out all your clutter from your closet and just streamline, yeah. you know? So my, my techniques are about helping people to streamline what they do, do a great job every time they know what they're doing, because I think it's hard out there in the salon. Yeah. Keep your clients, stay on time, you know, retail, look after them. It's, right. it's tough. Well, that's cool. Yeah. And that's, it's, so that's the difference. Yeah. And that's great. And I think that a lot of people, we, we were having this conversation Needs the entire weekend. Needs to be weekend. easier, yeah. not harder. Yeah. And, and I've known it because... You know, like I said, I'm putting out videos every single yeah, day. you know that. And I know which ones are going to be more popular than others. The least complicated the video, yeah. the more you know, people do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that that's the biggest thing is that, sorry, we had, a, you never know what's we had someone <laughs> join in. <laughs> that was funny. Um, I think, you know, I was the queen of complicated. Yeah. So it's, I've really changed my approach to teaching um i was the person that put 500 sections in the top yeah do you know what i mean and there's nothing wrong with yeah, that right and i love it if i get the chance yeah but not but it's not real 90 percent of the people in this building are never going to take 500 exactly. sections exactly. but it's important to understand yeah. why you could take 500 sections well because my right? brain like is too busy right yeah <laughs> <laughs> right yeah exactly oh that's awesome so tell me uh uh, this is the question I've asked all yes. day long. What is in the future oh. for SR Education? What What's your next thought process? Um, I've got so many projects that I want to do. I just don't have, you know, the finances, right? It yeah. costs a lot of money to do everything that you want. The next thing we want to do is um, a color program because that's what we're missing right now. We have the men's, the creative, the women's okay. foundation. We need to do a color program. Uh, it's all written. Just got to film it. I just... I haven't had time to film it, you know? Right. Um, the big thing is we have a virtual classroom coming out. So, obviously, I never really wanted to bring it out on DVD, but that's financially yeah. what I had to do. Yeah. Um, so, we've built a platform to have a virtual classroom. Uh, so, you can actually go on, do all of the haircuts in the classroom um, with tests and, you know, it's, yeah. like, it's like traffic school. Yeah. That's uh, good. So, that's an opportunity for people... Um, to go in there and do that in their own time. And uh, maybe if they can't get to our class, they can go and do it there. Yeah. Uh, so that's a big thing for us. My dream and what I want to do is to open a very small cosmetology school. Okay. Um, I feel like cosmetology um, is very important. I love working with, you know, the uh, up and coming people. But I just feel like there's um, a need out there for um to work with people that can't necessarily do monday to friday nine to five right, right yeah so i want to try and just work with people that are very eager to learn but um it, more part-time or that kind of thing yeah um so i'm really trying to get that up and running next year uh we're branching out into you know abroad we're doing a lot of asia stuff um yeah onwards and upwards that's awesome endless and how old is, is your endless. son now He's four and a half. He's four and a half. All right. He travels with me most of the time. Okay. So he's a, you know, he's combing doll heads. Yeah. And um, 
have to keep him away from the Debbies sometimes. Yeah, well, I have an eight-year-old son. Do you? Yeah. What do you know? Yeah, so and he, <laughs> so he's in school, so he can't travel. But that's yeah. uh, so that's one of those. That's you gonna know, be hard. Yeah, it's hard, yeah. but you know what? You're making it happen, and yeah, you yeah. did it for yourself. And that's yeah. you know, like when when something like that's the whole beauty of this industry, and what we've talked about all day long is you have you there was a thing in the road that happened. Yes. You had a kid. Yeah. Your life happened. Yeah, yeah. And you decided to do your thing. Yeah. Like instead of just quitting or going and just going to a salon or whatever you wanted to do you followed your dream and yeah. you're doing it you're making it happen yeah, yeah, yeah. so congratulations thank you That's so awesome. much thank you to uh how can people find you uh sally is uh where you can find us um also you know obviously instagram facebook that kind of stuff hashtag sr education if you want to have a look at what we do um and really we're all about modern salon work that's what we do awesome yeah very cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Follow American Salon on social media and also follow us at Free Salon Education. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Sally, thank very you much. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. Awesome. And we will see you guys on the next video. Thanks. Yeah.